Tonight's boating and fishing report is brought to you by the Castlemaine Perkins Brewery. Well, it's a very big day for the Queensland Surf Life Saving Association, Ray. Yes, Rob, it's going to be a great weekend, plenty of warm weather around, good beach conditions, and being the uh, one day when the Life Savers are collecting tomorrow, I hope we'll be all very, very generous, because without the Life Savers, we would have a lot of trouble on the beaches, I'm sure. So please give generously tomorrow to them. Thanks, Will. Good evening. On the Gold Coast this afternoon, conditions were pretty pleasant. Just a light southeasterly, you can see the swell's not all that big. Be about a metre along the beaches, and even less on the southern points where there's more protection from the wind. Now, coastal bars shouldn't be too bad tomorrow. I have had reports, though, well offshore, there's a 2.5 to 3 metre swell from the southeast, but it certainly doesn't appear to be getting onto the beaches. Now, if you're going fishing, there's been a few sweet lips showing up around Peel Island and some squire. There's been also a few mackerel off Ormiston. Winter whiting off the gutters off the Rouse Channel. In Bribey Passage, going well for Flathead, particularly around Bullcock Beach, right up the top end and around Donnybrook. There's also blackfish and brim at Lime Pocket. The lower reaches of the Noosa and Maroochy River for Flathead, a few whiting and the occasional brim. And on the Gold Coast, mostly whiting, blackfish and a few dew off the Gold Coast Seaway rock walls. Also some Flathead in that area. And around Jumpin' Pin, it's Flathead at Kalinga Bank and also around Crusoe Island. Well, tonight's the last night for good old TVO. So tomorrow night will be Channel 10. Make sure you come across. Good evening, everyone. What's Ken Brown doing in front of me there, I wonder, tonight? Telling you all about the lovely weekend that's what we're going to have on the beaches. Around Brisbane today, though, we had a bit of stratocumulus cloud, nothing to worry about. Top temperature got to 23. Around the viewing area, you can see there what's happened. Got northeasters around about 10 knots, plenty of sunshine, a bit of broken cloud. Temperatures in the coastal areas, though, around about 22s, over the inland 23s. On the range, you just couldn't quite make it, 18 degrees. Around Queensland, Fairly cool in the southeast down here on the Downs. The coldest place today, that is, 17 at Stanthorpe. But look what happens in the west here. Boy, boy, boy. All over 30 degrees, 37 from Urundangi all the way down there, all around the Birdsville area. And I bet they're in the pubs they're drinking the beer even now. All right, let's have a look at the clouds. Not much doing down there, or except down south. A few thunderstorms in the Adelaide area today. Melbourne too had a few storms, but otherwise not much doing. Still storms up here as well. The chart tells all the story. What have we got? We've got this high here. It had increased up to 1,030 hectopascals. That's up six since yesterday. And, of course, it's puffing up the southeasters. The run of water here over the water has had an uh, effect of bringing a bit of moisture into the inland parts, but there's nothing to lift the air. This jutting out part from the high right along the coastline is called a ridge. And right along there, the wind changes from southeast down to northeast. Southeast to northeast. That's on the ground. And when you get that change of wind, the hot air sinks down and of course the weather is quite fine. Another change moving through from the west, so we'll see where all those will be tomorrow on the chart. Well this high is going to move away as you can see, but it's quite a big fellow. It's not going to give everything away quickly at all. The, fl the flow will come down here, so fairly warm weather down the southeast, but fine weather because there won't be much lift until later on when this change comes through. So we're going for here, fine weather over the weekend in southeastern Queensland. This change may bring a few showers and storms in the southern inland early next week. Let's have a look at the forecast down south. Well, practically fine. The only place with a few showers will be in Perth and Darwin. Temperatures there, as I said, fairly warm into the 20s there, 24 in Sydney and 23 over in Adelaide. In Brisbane, we're going for a min of 14, topping tomorrow of 25. What a lovely day we're going to have with sea breezes in the afternoon. And around the viewing area, much the same. Temperatures there, you can see all around 25s. Big one here is the zips, which though, 27 degrees, and on the range we give you 21. The swell will be coming down, it's about two metres now, and the sea's about a metre and a half. On Moreton Bay, we've got down there, the, about northeast is 10 knots in the afternoon, peaking about 15, so wave heights there, something less than one metre. The high water there, 1.8, and you pick that up around about 9.04, and the sun's up at eight minutes to six. Now the forecast for the weekend and Monday, well I've already told you, there it is, sunny, 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 fine conditions and very warm. And as I said, it's great beach weather and don't forget our surf lifesavers. Good evening to you all. Thank you, Ray. A little bit different tonight. Finally tonight, the major stories of the day once again. The Queensland Government spreads its anti-corruption campaign to jails. The Aboriginal community furious over RSL suggestions there should be blood testing to establish their racial ties. And with just over a week until the Olympic opening, trouble in the streets of Seoul. And this has been the last edition of TVO Eyewitness News. From midnight tonight, TVO becomes Brisbane 10, so tune to 10 for Eyewitness News tomorrow at 6. Good night. We'll see you Monday night. Have a great weekend. Good night.
Sony is pleased to assist in the presentation of Eyewitness News. Here's big news for all Super K Expo card holders. Tomorrow, you get a 10% discount on all records and pre-recorded cassette tapes at Super K Mart. Just present your Expo card. Get your Super K Expo card now in the Eyewitness News Expo bag. Hey, I see where TVO will change to Channel 10 on September 10th. Yes, I know. They reckon it's dead easy to retune your TV set. Instructions are all here in the paper. Won't there be a brochure in the mailbox too? Yes, I know, dear. We well, let's see. For twin dial set like Mum's, you turn the VHF channel selected to Channel 10, make sure the automatic fine tuning is off, adjust the fine tuning to get the clearest reception, then turn the automatic fine tuning back on. Sounds easy enough. Darling, Mum's already... With the kids push button type, you open the tuning compartment, turn off the automatic fine tuning, select Channel 10 or any not in use, Turn its band selected to VH, VH high or band 3. Adjust its fine tune to get the best picture and sound. Then turn on the automatic fine tuning. Right. No worries. But sweetheart, the kids have also... Oh, now our set with automatic tuning, Locate you just... the tuning compartment. Turn off the automatic fine tuning. Select channel 10 or any not in use. Tune the band selector control to get clear reception. Press the memory control and turn the automatic fine tuning on again. Simple. Oh, well, see. Never mind, darling. There's still the office set. You can always phone the troubleshooter hotline if you need help. Come across to 10. It's easy. Next tonight, it's Neighbours, and Mrs. Mangle and her son are finally reunited. Then at 7.30, the family adventure movie Daryl, followed by more movie entertainment at 9.30, when Bill Collins stars in A Piece of the Action. Everyone's a star in my town.